Hello YouTubers and welcome to yet another video. This time I'm I've just got this for the post. Essentially it's a DIY uh joystick. Arcade stick. Look at that. Real quality arcade stick, like proper quality uh buttons as well, the wires and the box for it to go in. Uh I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it's meant to look like. I did order the clear plastic one, but never mind, it's come out blue. I would I would have preferred the clear plastic. Instead, I've got the bluey one. I think it should be look okay with the red buttons and red joystick. We'll see when I get it together, but it's okay. It only cost me £40 from Amazon, I'll link below. And yeah, essentially these are all the sides and the box and the top. You need a screwdriver, you get screws with it, I believe. Yep, screws with it. Look at that joystick. I just wanted... I got this a while ago, obviously this is a Raspberry Pi. In the, in this box is a little motherboard, essentially. Uh, with uh, a graphics and RAM and goodness knows what. A, a little computer. So a little computer board inside that box. It's tiny. It's about the size of a cigarette packet. And I've been having a blast. The emulation on it. I'll do another video on that. The emulation is fantastic on it. Especially on the arcades. But I was missing, I was using an, an Xbox 360 controller and it just wasn't good enough for the arcade games. The emulation's fantastic, the control wasn't, so I wanted to get an arcade stick. I don't want to build an arcade cabinet yet, it's not something I feel I use, but look at that stick. Fantastic. And like I say, this costs £40 from Amazon, uh, from eBay, in fact I got it from, not Amazon. I will put the link below, those buttons are fantastic. You've got to put all this together yourself. I love these DIY projects, so I'm, I'm going to have to build this whole joystick. This, I can take this out of the box, the motherboard, the computer, the Raspberry Pi, and put it into this if I want to. I won't do that yet, so I can have it as all one unit, so this could be a complete Raspberry Pi unit. I don't really want to do that, but... I'm looking forward to building it. Unfortunately, I've got to go to work in a few minutes, so I can't do it now, but what I'll do, I will, will I will build it later. I won't do a video on me building it. I'll build it and report back on it. Really happy. I love these DIY projects. Okay, so progress so far. Uh, I've got the bottom part of the joystick connected. That's the start button or player one, player two, I'm not sure. Start and select button probably. Uh, I've got the USB main hub in there. And this has taken me about 20 minutes so far. I've got the joystick set up and the buttons, they feel great. I mean this, when this goes on top, when I've got it all connected and wired up, uh, it's going to feel great. It's going to be some weight to it because the joysticks, this joystick part is quite heavy. And the buttons just feel like proper arcade buttons. That's going to be great. But, like I say, it's a bit finickety. Uh, a bit difficult to get all the nuts and bolts in. Uh, but I've only had to use, let's see if I can find it. I've only had to use this so far. And a few nuts and bolts. It's, yeah, it's a bit tricky in parts. Um... The connecting the wires is fairly straightforward. I don't know what it's going to be like connecting it to the USB board, but it should be straightforward. You can see the board's got the sockets available for all these buttons and things, as long as I connect it correctly. And I've been following this uh, website. Let's just try and get this. So if I go back, it's got all the different phases, all the different steps, rather. I don't know if that's coming through properly, but that's how you do it. Uh, you just follow these steps. I'm on for that step at the moment. I've just, well, that's just finished that step with that. And yeah, it's good fun. Good fun. About 20 minutes so far. I'm excited to get it all together. Next time, next video I shoot, I'll have it all together and I'll test it out. Okay, so for anybody thinking of buying this joystick, doing this DIY joystick, a quick tip. Don't assemble the whole thing and then test it. Assemble it as you go. So when you get it to this stage, before you start putting it all together, you've got all the connectors fitted. You've, 
everything's con uh, connected and fitted, uh, then try it. Now it works fine now. When I first tried it the first couple of times, I'll press A, I'll go into something, as you can see it works, press B to go back, left, right, up, down will work. Uh, when I first tried this, it didn't work. And it was a cable, this cable right here going into the actual main joystick. I had to switch it round, which was the reverse of what it says on the instructions on the internet. So I had to disassemble it, switch that cable round, and then configure the joystick again. And as you can see, I hope that's coming up clearly. It works fine now, no problems at all. So yeah, quick tip, don't assemble the whole thing and then expect it to work. It might do, you might be lucky. Uh, or like me, you're gonna have to take it all apart again and then reassemble it. Uh, so I'm gonna finish reassembling the last few pieces and then I'll do a proper test on it. And here we have it, here we have it. The complete unit, I've got it all put together. Uh, you can see it's all a complete box. It feels okay. I mean, the joystick feels fantastic. The weight isn't as heavy as I hoped, but it's okay. But it feels authentic. You know, you've got these select and start buttons here. Good arcade buttons. Now let's show you a little bit of how it works. A little bit of a demo. Let's go to arcade, because that's really what I wanted it for, the arcade games. They just didn't feel right with a Super Nintendo uh, uh, Xbox 360 controller or whatever. It didn't feel right with that kind of newish controller. It needed an arcade controller. Whatever you think of this, it's £40. Pound. It's a real arcade stick, real arcade buttons. I've tested it. It's brilliant. Uh, let's stop nattering and go to arcade. And what I'll do, I'll press the... I've got this set up as my A key. At the moment because with arcade the keys are all a bit different to the Super Nintendo or other emulators on there. Uh, I've got this as a fire button and this generally and this is a jump button generally with arcade games it just works well for me. So I'll tell you what let's go to Ghosts and Goblins so I'll choose the A button to select it and it feels okay it feels okay on a knee it feels like a little arcade box, a little arcade controller. I mean, that's what I wanted. I had to do a bit of messing around to get it working. Uh, you saw before that I had to disassemble it and reassemble it to get the joystick working. When I put it together again, one of the buttons, this button wasn't working. Uh, so I had to disassemble it and that was because in the, you could just see this this button here where my finger, oh, this button here, the, uh, I don't know what you call them, jumpers or whatever, they were interfering with the wires from here, so I had to move them around to get it working. It was a bit of messing around, it, overall it took me actually a couple of hours to assemble this and to get it working properly, not 20 minutes, but still, it seems to be working now. So here we are, here we are, classic Ghosts and Goblins. So what I'll do, I'll insert coin, I'll press this, Insert coin. Brilliant. Just like an arcade. That's a start. I'm going to play this one-handed like this, just to show you. I haven't got a, a tripod set up, so... Well, it gives you a quick idea, you see? And you can see, it's just brilliant. I'm not going to play much of this, but I've played a few games, I'll tell you what. The joystick is absolutely brilliant, just like an arcade stick. No doubt about it. There you go, you, but you get the idea. I press the two keys down here together, it resets the system. Things like Mrs. Pac-Man feel amazing on this. I've got Mrs. Pac-Man, let's just give that a start. You can play it one-handed, I play it with my right hand generally. When I was in the arcade I used to switch hands, so I... I think a lot of people did. Uh, I play this right-handed. There's no jump, no fire, just the joystick. Listen to that classic. When you press these buttons, it just feels like an arcade. It's great. Here we go. So you can see there. I'm actually looking through my. I'm recording with my mobile. I'm looking through that when playing this as well. I'm not going to do brilliant here, but 
just to give you an idea, it just controls brilliantly. Usually I'll hold the side of the joystick as well with my other hand whilst playing this, like I did with the arcade. It was just something I was used to, but anyway, it gives you the idea. Let's reset that. I've reset that. So overall, brilliant. Good. Worth £40. It's a fun adventure. Fun to get it working. Doesn't look absolutely... It looks like a DIY project, but I like that. You see that little red light when it's on in there? I like it. I would have liked the clear, the actual clear plastic one. I might buy some other skins for it and remake it in the future. Maybe some other buttons as well. But I'm really happy with it. I've tested the arcade and I've also tested... Just let this focus a second. I've tested the Commodore 64 games and these play brilliantly as well on this. The emulation on the Pi with the 64 is almost perfect. Almost perfect. In fact, it's very good. It's the best emulation I've seen for the Commodore 64 and I've tried a few emulation machines with it. This beats everything and generally the arcade as well. But with this, it's close to perfect. I'll put the link down below if you're interested. I say definitely worth buying it. You don't need much expertise putting it together. It's my first project of this kind. That's probably why it took me a couple of hours to do overall, but I did take breaks as well. But worth every penny of £40 and it's a brilliant arcade stick.